Game over? No, we're just getting started. Welcome to Watch Mojo UK, and today we're counting down our picks for the top 10 British video games. Before we begin, we publish new content every day, so be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. The British gaming sector has always punched above its weight, creating dozens of innovative titles that have helped to shape the industry. For this list, we're counting down the best games produced by British game studios, or which otherwise have a strong British influence. Give the action button a short, sharp press for a small hop, or hold it down for a huge, boundy leap. Number 10, Elite. This space trading game was such a technical breakthrough, it amazed even the developers of the BBC microcomputer on which it was released. One of the first titles to use 3D wireframe graphics with hidden line removal, Elite was influential in the development of the ultra-realistic visuals of today's games. What really captivated players, though, was the scale of the title. Often cited as the first truly open-world game, the Elite universe contains eight galaxies, each with an amazing 256 planets to enjoy. Truly epic. Number 9. Championship Manager Developed by Sports Interactive, this management simulator gave players the chance to run a football club. Over the course of two decades, the franchise has become slicker and more detailed, but even when it was first released, it was streets ahead of the competition. The franchise is so engrossing, Sports Interactive once admitted it had even caused divorces. But hey, priorities, right? Especially as for many players, this game offered the one real chance of their favourite team ever winning some silverware. Number 8. Manic Miner In this game, you play the character Willy as he tries to escape a minefield with poisonous pansies and rabid toilet seats. Manic Miner is widely considered to be the moment that modern platform gaming was invented and was the first ZX Spectrum title to feature in-game music generated by the machine itself. Winner of a Golden Joystick Award from Computer and Video Games magazine, Manic Miner has officially been ported to 10 separate home computers and game consoles, and unofficially ported to many more. Number 7. Fable 2 For centuries, this academy trained the most supremely gifted sons and daughters of Albion, bound together by the blood that flowed in their veins. This action RPG was one of the first games that allowed players to influence the game world through actions of their character. Every choice made by the protagonist Sparrow has consequences, creating a living, breathing world as well as a truly immersive experience. Not only is the game funny, it also boasts an interesting storyline and excellent fighting mechanics. Plus, for that extra British touch, the name of Fable's world, Albion, is a reference to an ancient name for Great Britain. Ten winters blanketed Albion. Ten summers filled the air with the sounds of insects and laughter. Number 6. Little Big Planet. The release of LBP was delayed originally, reportedly because one of the background music tracks contained expressions from the Quran. But the final game was worth the wait, picking up eight AIAS awards, including Overall Game of the Year. The puzzle platformer won praise for its graphics, audio, and gameplay but what really set it apart was the fact that players could create their own levels for other gamers. As testimony to the game's enduring popularity, protagonist Sackboy is still selling merchandise all these years later. An abstract plane of beautiful wonderment just waiting to be explored. Number 5. Banjo-Kazooie from legendary British game studio Rare, Banjo-Kazooie follows a bear and a bird as they take on the evil witch Gruntilda. Super Mario 64 set the benchmark for 3D platformers, but in the eyes of some players, Banjo-Kazooie surpassed it. A success both critically and commercially, the game won two AIAS awards in 1999, including Console Action Game of the Year. It also earned an impressive 92 on review site Metacritic, with fans loving the graphics, the soundtrack, and the vast scale of its worlds. Number 4. Batman Arkham Asylum While the Cape Crusader has had an array of video games prior with very mixed results, Arkham Asylum put him into the Gaming Hall of Fame. 
With its immersive story and well-developed characters, the title feels like it is part of the Batman canon. The fun combat system is supplemented by a range of cool gadgets that allow you to take down enemies stealthily. Add to that some excellent graphics and a high replayability factor, and it's no surprise the game sold nearly 2 million copies in the first three weeks of its release alone. Number 3. GoldenEye 007 Another gem from the Rare Studio, this Nintendo 64 title is regarded as one of the greatest video games of all time. Previously, first-person shooters had been limited to PCs, but GoldenEye proved the format was possible on consoles, and in doing so, paved the way for franchises like Halo and Call of Duty. The level design was elegant, the range of weaponry extensive, and the multiplayer offered hours of fun killing your friends. Plus, the chance to play as the famous 007? What could be more British than that? Number 2. Tomb Raider Archaeologist Lara Croft was originally supposed to be a bloke, but the developer eventually went with a woman to avoid her being confused with Indiana Jones. And what a decision that proved to be. Croft became a cultural icon, as well as the first video game character to appear on the covers of both The Face and Time magazine. Tomb Raider played a huge part in the success of PlayStation, with its thrilling blend of action and exploration. And the T-Rex encounter, of course. Who could forget that? Welcome to my home. I'll take you on a guided tour. Before we unveil our top pick, here are a few honourable mentions. Nicola! Ah! Shh, shh, shh. We shouldn't be in the research centre without security clearance. I'm telling you, I heard gunshots. Number 1. Grand Theft Auto 3 Remember, no one messes with my girls. So keep your hands on the wheel. If you don't mess this up, maybe there'll be more work for you. Everyone has their favourite GTA title, but Grand Theft Auto 3 is the yardstick by which open world games are still judged today. The series as a whole has sold more than 250 million units, making it the fourth most successful video game franchise ever, and GTA 3 was perhaps the most vital instalment. When it was released, it drew controversy for the levels of violence and use of in-game prostitution, but there's no questioning its scale, humour and production value. And with open world titles now one of the biggest genres in gaming, we have GTA 3 to thank for it. Some wise guys been introducing this trash to my girls down Portland Harbour. Go and introduce a bat to his face! Do you agree with our picks? Check out these other great clips from WatchMojo UK and subscribe for more great content.